I know, another LTD, you're probably thinking, and what was he doing? I know, that was some sloppy stuff, but this guitar, they, they always surprise me. We've been getting in so many new models of ESP LTDs, and this one just makes me want to play aggressively, uh, a little bit more aggressively than I can actually play. But I love this thing. Again, they continuously surprise me. Okay, check this out. Uh, swamp ash body in this beautiful purple color that is just incredible roasted maple neck roasted maple fretboard esp ltd locking tuners up on the top down here as far as pickups we have a seymour duncan pegasus in the bridge a sentient in the neck just a great pairing i love these and we have scalloped fretboard from 17 up to 22 frets. There's a lot of pros and cons about scalloped fretboards, but one of the other things that this guitar has on it that I absolutely love, extra jumbo stainless steel frets. And I know that there's a buzz about stainless steel on the forums and some people say that they're just the end all be all. I have always liked them when I played them. I think these are the first extra jumbo stainless frets I've played on, and I absolutely love them. They are very tall frets, um, and they would be handy to really put some thick strings on here and tune down to like a drop C. I think that would just be a killer sound on this guitar. But the tall frets, I know some people can have some problems with them. If you really have a heavy touch and you've got to feel that fingerboard. Uh, but over the years, I've developed a much lighter touch in my playing, and these are just a joy. They are smooth as glass, and I really do think they have a little bit different attack qualities than nickel frets do after playing on this. And by the way, I played this guitar long enough to sprain a tendon in my hand yesterday. I just couldn't put it down. But back to this. These frets, the tall frets, make for a very seamless transition to the scalloping up here. If you haven't played on a scallop neck guitar before, especially one where they do a transition from you know, somewhere in the 12th fret on up, you will not notice a difference in the playing. Uh, these frets are tall enough. Like I say, you just glide over the top of them and the same thing up here on the top. One thing I want to show you real quickly, and by the way, I'm playing this through um, a Line 6 Helix, and I'm using the PRS Archon model. That was just such a perfect match for the aggressiveness of this guitar. Um, when you get up here to the high notes, listen to just the nice, rich harmonics you get on a few of these notes. And now I transition to a scalloped fret. I'm hoping you can hear what I'm hearing here, but the, the rich overtones of the sound that you get from this full fretboard, they become just pure fundamental tones, very focused and glassy. In the scallop frets. And I've been trying to figure out why that is. It could be just, you know, from less mass of the fretboard directly underneath these frets. But I love this sound up here, and I wish they would have done it from the 12th fret up instead of just from the 17th to the 22nd fret on here. Um, 
This is a 25 and a half inch scale instrument. It has bolt on neck. I know a lot of the LTDs that I've been doing lately have uh, a set through neck, but on this SN1000HT, uh, in case, I think I may have just blown past the name, but this is an SN1000HT. All of the guitars in LTD's 1000 series have just blown me away uh, because we're looking at guitars under a $1,000 price point, and they're just incredible instruments. Um, a couple other things, let's get into the sounds here. I don't, these pickups are hot, and just with this combination of components, it doesn't really steer me in the direction of a very clean sound, but for an aggressive clean sound that you would want during breaks in, you know, a metal piece, it's got that. <laughs> And I'll go to the neck pickup here. And both together here. Gorgeous. Haven't even gotten into the fact that we have uh, coil splitting on both of these pickups as well. And a very nice touch they did here. It's not pull up, push down, just a flick downward. It's a spring-loaded switch. So humbucker, single coil, humbucker, single coil. Easy as that. It's a fast switch that you don't have to think about while you're playing. But um, let's check out the tones of that as well. And the neck pickup. Just, and one thing I should probably point out, the middle position when you are in single coil mode, it's not a hum, hum canceling position. You don't have reverse wound pickups here that you may see in some other configurations. This is a guitar that's meant to be full and rich and heavy, and that is exactly what it is. Um, it has the thin U-shaped neck that all of the LTDs in this price range has. The roasted maple neck is just a joy to play. Stainless steel frets are just a big plus on this. But still, overall, what they've done to this guitar is incredible in the price point. LTD continues to amaze me. Uh, oh, also, hip shot fixed bridge on here. Great bridge on this guitar. The ESP LTD line uses quality components in every guitar I've picked up. So. If you're interested in this model, and you can probably play it better than I can, but it is a killer guitar, give the guys at moreguitars.com a call. They are the experts on every brand they sell. They will set you up for the perfect match for your playing style. So give them a call. Until next time, have a great day. See you soon.